presentation, which will be given by David Eckhardt. David is a software developer in the research data management team at TU Graz and member of the core developer team of Invenio RDM at CERN. He will introduce us to the repository for research data at TU Graz. And Hewitt, I'm pleased to hand over to you, David. David will share his um, slides. <laughs> we can see that you're sharing. <laughs> We cannot hear you, Tom. Mm -hmm. We see ourselves. <laughs> One more try. Okay, thank you for the information. Would be a possibility to ask one more question. <laughs> really looking forward to the presentation so <laughs> okay hello yes. okay no works Sorry. No problem. At least we can hear you now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry for the delay. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, so I'll represent the team at Theo Graz. Um, in the, on the uh, ISDS side, so Institute of Interactive Systems and Data Science, um, we have the team of Mujib um, and me on the development side and Ilire as head of the RDM team. And also at TeoGuard's library, we have Christoph and Philip. So our core team contributions so far have been... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, there's some complications. Do you mean that you're not in the presenter mode? No. But we can see the slide. Yeah. Yes. But can you also... Now it works. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 Um, okay. So the core team contributions so far have been that we've uh, worked on the versions one, three, four, and five. We've done some version migration scripts. We've worked on the features such as, uh, as Lars already mentioned, uh, internationalization. We're managing the German translation on trans effects. 
Um, and we've also worked on the functionality to extract text from uh, JavaScript files. Then we've also worked on the SAML feature, which allows to exchange authentication and authorization between providers. Um, and we're also working on OAI PMH, which allows uh, other service providers to harvest the records stored in our repository. So for the Theocrats repository solution, um, as mentioned, we've worked together with Theocrats library and the repository is available to all members of Theocrats. Um, right now we're running the latest version, so that's uh, six. And we've also adapted the theme of Invenio RDM to match our to match the, the guidelines um, and requirements of Theocrats. Um, the researchers are also able to use single sign-on, so only one uh, credential is needed to sign on. We also allow to uh, contact us via a ticketing system, so it's really easy to just get in touch with us via the repository. Um, and as you can see on the right side, right hand side, uh, <laughs> we've, we've adapted our landing page. So this now shows the recent uploads and it also matches the Theocrats guidelines. Uh, we also have our German translation going on. So uh, we support English and German right now. And of course, new features are being added continuously, uh, also on request of researchers and um, others who might have an, yeah, a, a feature request for the repository. Um, so this is how our uh, start set looks right now. And as Lars already told you, uh, all the features he presented are, of course, also available here. Um, and here you also see how to get in contact with us. For our data manager uh, development management, we're using GitLab and GitHub. Um, and as everything is, is open source here, you can also have a look at it. Um, we have some config, which are needed uh, for, for our instance. We have the adapted theme, the single sign-on, um, and some other repositories as well. Um, so everyone who is interested in, in how we did certain things can have a look at it. Now on the repository, we also have uh, documentation. So we have a how-to guide. Um, we have a document on how we did the deployment, um, um, the data protection, also the terms of use. Um, so everything is really documented again in German and in English. Um, so everyone can have a look and um, yeah, get a better understanding of, of how everything works together on our side. Now, on the one side, we have the development with the repository, um, but we also have to get this repository known to others as well, to researchers. And that's where our data champions, uh, data stewards play a vital role. So who are these data stewards? These are experts in research data management and they bring the discipline specific knowledge to the institution. Uh, they kind of act like an interface between researchers, the IT department, and the policy makers. Um, and right now we have three discipline specific data stewards, uh, which help us with rolling out the repository. They provide individual support for researchers, um, they do training, they organize workshops. And they also manage a data champions community. 
So that's where researchers from different career stages uh, and disciplines can work together uh, to further develop our repository and also other RDM tools. And we also support other universities. So we've been the first in Austria to adapt in video RDM. We cannot hear you, David. Okay. Maybe you can help out, Alex. Maybe you can present a slide. Mm, okay. For the other universities. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much, David. So now would be the possibility to ask your questions or comment on the uh, rollout process of Theocrat's repository. Maybe also exchange because there are different experiences from different Austrian universities. I think what's uh, really interesting is the data champions community who helps during the rollout process to motivate people to use the repository. I think that's a great benefit. Okay, here's a question in the chat. Did you migrate from another repository system or start with a blank instance? Um, so this is our first repository system. And what is your production environment? Um, so maybe Christoph can tell you more about that. Um, but also on the uh, deployment side, um, that's mostly on Mochip. Um, so if you're if you're really interested in this, um, I can get in touch with him um, and get back to you. Okay. Um, are all uploads uh, done by the researchers? Is there any moderation process from library staff? Regarding the uh, moderation process, maybe Christoph can join in on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, the, um, I, I, about the librarian part, I will say afterwards. So we maybe the the question will will be answered after my presentation. So we can yeah. discuss of uh, first part uh, afterwards. Mm -hmm. We can include this question yeah. after your presentation. And how many developers do you have? Is another question. Yeah. So right now, um, it's uh, me as a part-time developer. Uh, Mochip is here. Uh, Christoph and also Philip. Um, 
I will jump in here and uh, Martin, which was not on the slides. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay.